hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and um i guess welcome to the first vlog i'm not really sure how to do this bro but um this is saturday and i'm now picking up the camera to try something else i've been trying all week to get something that i figured would be interesting for you guys but i never really got anything done you know nothing that i'm too happy with so we're gonna just see i actually want to see what you guys want me to to make light of or what you guys want me to vlog in my day um today i'm not doing very much um my mom just asked me to pick up something for her from um a place called Badat. it's a it's an auto sales store where you can get like different things auto auto parts etc you see the sign back there um but yeah she just asked me to pick something up for her for her car her some engine oil or something like that and i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna go back home and work on the server uh sasp is getting a new pack as well as bcso is getting some addition to their pack so that's what i'm doing today um i don't really have much else to do maybe I am putting a few clips of me driving and stuff for you guys to see but let me know what else you guys want to see um on my vlogs and stuff like that because as I said my, my life isn't extremely interesting I do some stuff outside but it's mostly work and mostly grinding it's mostly me working on the server working on my channel going to actual work and then stuff like that and I can't show my actual work because it's uh it's a kind of a patient confidentiality thing so i can't actually show you guys when i'm at work but i can show you guys where i'm going from time to time etc um and a few gym things so i'll probably throw in a few gym clips that you know it's a little montage or some of gym but if you guys like this kind of thing drop a like comment subscribe turn on notifications so you know whenever i post and uh, we're gonna go inside now i'm gonna just do a little pan of what the outside of the place looks and then um yeah so thank you guys again and um let's try this maybe maybe it's gonna be like a 10 minute vlog maybe even if so long but there's actually a conversation i'm gonna have about you guys my week you know i'm gonna let you know a little bit of stuff that happened to me this week and um yeah so let's hop in let's go and get our the the car engine oil or whatever and plus i just got out of bed bro i didn't even get to bathe or anything and that's something that you don't ever want to do in barbados but i'm risking it right now i hope i don't smell too bad but anyways let's go yo Alright y'all, we got back to the car. This is what she wanted. Um, some car engine oil. And um, yeah, just just how it looks like, I guess. Um, this is not the one that she really wanted. But this is what they had and this is what I got for her. Um, I paid the little extra money or whatever. She might give, him, give me it back, but uh, it's, it's okay. It's fine, I guess. Um, but we're going to head back home now. I got I got some stuff to do. I'm going to finish work on the server. I'm probably going to do a little montage of me working, sitting on the computer, working on the ser server or whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I might watch some anime. Actually, Overlord Season 4 is out, so I need to watch those first four episodes. I really want to watch that, that series. That's a, that, I think that's a really good anime. If you guys ever want to watch an anime, Overlord is, a, is an anime you guys should watch. But... Um, I guess if I can get my phone propped up somewhere, I'll tell you guys about my my week on my way down. I don't know what just happened, but yeah, I'll tell you guys on on my um about my week on my way home. Um, I don't know if I can get this propped up in my in the car somewhere. I might just do it when I get back home while I'm in the car or something. I don't know. I'll tell you guys. All right. So I know this is gonna look a little bit weird, but we're gonna try something here. Um, there's not. I, mean, I got the whole the whole thing is gonna block, but you know it is what it is. Um, so this week, um, as you, I don't know if you guys would have known, I was talking to a girl, um, this week and, or for the last couple of weeks and I kind of had to break it off with her and I'm not going to lie to you. That's probably one of the hardest things that, you know, you got to do as a guy, you got to be able to walk away. Um, a lot of the standards or whatever that I hold to myself, uh, we didn't match up like that and I could see that she was kind of hurt about it and she's she is wilding right now I'm not going to lie she is all wilding um, but does it affect me no it doesn't um, and I know you guys might think that I'm cold for that I'm sick for that but bro like 
If she didn't like me, she would have done the exact same thing like that, bro. I'm not going to lie. So you got to be able as a man to decide, okay, I'm going to walk away from this situation because, you know, you got to be able to walk away, y'all. Like, some girls will not have remorse on you. Bro, you got to let me out, bro. What's wrong with you? All right, let me get out here. Let me get out. Come on. Some girls are not gonna gonna care like that, bro. Like you gotta be able to walk away from certain situations, especially if it's not gonna turn out bad for you. I'm not gonna let you guys know the situation or the the stuff that she didn't meet for me, but let you let I'll let you guys know that I have a lot of self respect, I have a lot of standards, and some of those standards weren't being met. And um, most of it, the main one was respect. You know. I'm a guy that's very focused on respect and focused on making sure that people respect me. And I I like when a person is able to recognize that I don't like something and they, they don't do it. So I had to break it off with her. I'm not going to lie. It was very, very hard. I felt a way when I was leaving there on my way, on my drive home. But then from the time I got home, I was like, okay, well, you, you did the right thing because I, I'm not going to lie to you. I saw something that she put and I was like... Yeah, I that cemented in my brain that the reason why I did it. You get what I'm saying? The reason why I had to break that off. And it cemented it in my brain like, yeah, I made the right choice. Because if I had continued with her, maybe it would have been something worse later on in the future. So that was that. That happened on Wednesday. On Thursday. <laughs> you know, boys, we are demon time, bro. Anyways, on Wednesday... No, Wednesday, Thursday, there's this girl um, I saw at work, and I was like, bro, she's attractive, bro, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I, I, I love that kind of thing, bro, I love to look at a girl, a woman, or whatever, and be like, she's attractive, attractive, and she was giving me the choosy eyes, y'all, like, I could see that she was looking at me a certain way, I was like, yeah, then my time, boys, then my time. So I went and I approached her. I didn't do it inside of work because that, that I felt like that would have been, I don't know, disrespectful or it would have been not professional. So I did it like outside, um, outside of the workplace or whatever. I did it then, and I approached her. Was like, okay, and it it sometimes less is more, y'all. Y'all don't gotta go up with some pickup lines or whatever. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes you just going up to a girl and saying, hey. I think you're attractive. Um, I want to get to know you or whatever. Can I have your Instagram number? I know you for you guys in the United States. Some of the girls are very um, not into giving out their number like that. It's a safety issue. But in Barbados, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but go up, like, get her Instagram or whatever. And the thing is, here's what I learned from watching TikTok or whatever. Talk, watching some of these guys online. Um, I didn't actually give her my name. And the fact that I know she was interested is the fact that she asked me what my name was afterwards. If it didn't, if it didn't matter to her, she probably would have asked me my name. But she asked me my name. Um, but yeah, first I walked up to her. I was like, "What's your name?" Whatever. I said, "Well, she gave me her name. I'm not gonna call her name." Um, she gave me her name, and then I was like, "I find you attractive. Can I have your number, or Instagram?" Um, I put in the Instagram as a security reasons because a lot of girls don't want to give their their phone number but she was like oh so you do you want to you want my instagram or you want my phone number that's how you know that she's interested you know she's paying attention to what you're saying and i was like all right well you can give me your number and i made a little joke in there i don't remember what i said but and then she gave me her number she went along and i told her you know have a nice day or whatever and that was that you get what i'm saying y'all and you got to start somewhere it's it's the boldness the confidence you got to go like you're confident like you own the world i'm not saying to be arrogant or cocky i'm saying to be confident be confident in yourself and be comfortable being able to take rejection you know how many girls i've approached bro that didn't want to do any or say anything to me or didn't want to continue to talk to me or whatever like a lot of girls like i would say now if i approach 10 girls only about half of them would give me their number or instagram i'll say that because I'm not in my final form yet. You know, you know, you anime guys, you we're not in our final form yet. I'm not there. I don't have the money. I don't have the clout. I don't have those things. I'm starting to build it. I look good, but you gotta start somewhere. And um the the higher you go up in the in the in the totem pole or the higher you go up in, in social status and stuff, 
the more successful it is. It's a numbers game for you guys. So you guys need to start focusing on your looks, focusing on your craft. That's why I tell you guys, go out there and build. Do what you gotta do. Take your negative emotions, put it into like things like the gym or creating something because then there's so much more positive that can come from it. You get what I'm saying? There's so much more that can come from you guys just going out there, doing what you gotta do. And um, that's essentially what I did, you know? I took my negative emotions, put it into the gym. I'm looking bigger, I'm looking better. You guys see the biceps, bro. I'm trying hard, bro. I'm, I'm going to the gym, I'm working. And I am working, you know, my normal job and I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing my stuff, you know, because by the time I'm 25, I don't want to be living in my parents' house, bro. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to be living in my parents' house. And it's a little bit more forgiving in Barbados compared to United States and stuff. A lot of girls won't, won't mess with you if you still live at home at 22 years old, bro. And that's that's just the reality of the fact of the matter it is. But you got to try something. You got to you got to put yourself out there. You got to. You gotta work. You gotta get on your 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 path as guys, as men. You get what I'm saying? So, I think just because of how I was dressed, how I spoke, you know, my confidence and stuff, um, and probably maybe she likes me. That's why she gave me her number or whatever. And we've been talking for the last two days or so, um, up and down. I've been making you know making her laugh here and there. I can tell that she's a little bit shy, um, but it is what it is. So. Those are just kind of like my, my major two highlights of the week. Um, outside of, you know, reaching 14K, we'll be at 15K shortly. Uh, probably the beginning or during, during this week. Um, and yeah, so this is just, I'm, I'm on my way back home now. Obviously, I can't show you guys my surroundings. I don't want nobody rolling up on my house. But you get what I'm saying, y'all. Like, you gotta, you gotta go out there, put yourself out there, do what you gotta do. It's a numbers game. If you see a girl that you find attractive, go approach her. Go talk to her. Do what you got to do, bro. And keep it short and sweet sometimes. Oh, that's all you really need. You don't need these, these pickup lines, the advanced things. So sometimes they might confuse the girls. You don't need you don't need that. So that's kind of what I wanted to kind of talk about on my way back home. And, you know, let you guys know how my week's been going. It's been, it's been, it's been a ride, bro. Like, I had a down. I had a up. Had a little bit in between. You know, um, just a lot of stuff going around in, in life, bro. Like, you got to be able to be stoic, mysterious. You got to own your craft, do what you got to do. Like, it's not, sometimes it's not that big of a deal to be rejected, bro. Like, that person just probably isn't for you. And I definitely have a lot of persons around me that are not just for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not, they're not for me. And... Like that person that I told you guys that I um, had to break things off with. I, I, I realized that it wasn't for me. I had to sit down. I thought about it. Went through it in my head and decided, okay, the best choice of action is for us to not go any further. Because it just, it just doesn't make any sense for me if I'm going to be annoyed by certain stuff. You know what I mean? And I'm a very picky guy. I'm extremely picky when it comes to girls and stuff. There's so much going on around me that I don't really necessarily like. And things that I've seen through my own parents. And but believe me, my parents are amazing. But just from my own parents' perspective, seeing things from other people's parents and all this stuff over the media, you know. Um, yeah. What do you guys think about the Will Smith situation? Um, I got my own thoughts about it, but I want to see a discussion down in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, no, that girl's attractive. Um in the description, the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the whole Will Smith situation? He came out to this week with an apology. Um, that's how you take. I'll, I'll just say this, right? The way Will Smith took a, a accountability for his actions was actually commendable. And there's, and we need a lot more people to do stuff like that to be able to take accountability for the action, realize that they made a mistake, made a real messed up mistake, and be out there to apologize and say, okay. I'm sorry that this happened or I'm sorry that I made that choice because a lot of people nowadays just don't take accountability for their actions and that's the problem. You need more people to be able to take accountability for their actions. A lot of people don't and you know, it is what it is though. I need you guys to stay true, stay you, you know, do what you got to do y'all and um, yeah, y'all just heard me do a full lecture while I'm driving home. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Maybe I'll do a montage of me doing my work. 
uh, working on the server. Ah, shoot. Working on the server and um, videos and stuff. I just hit the bottom of my car. Damn. Gotta check that out. I'm gonna stop going up there, bro. That's that's gonna damage my car. I don't like that. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm gonna be home now. So, I'll see you guys in a bit.